guys, welcome back. We're still dancing in the dark. I know it's the fourth week in a row. I'm so sorry. Um, still not quite right. Um, I'm getting a little bit better. It's not constant dizziness now. It's kind of coming in waves and I'm going to be seeing a ENT specialist ears, nose and throat, see what's kind of going on in my ears and try and get my dizziness to go away finally. So what we are doing this week is a third party reading, much requested by you guys. I know it's been a little bit of time since we last done one. So we're going to do a third party reading of what is going on with the, you and your person and with the person that they are involved with. Now this third party reading, um, I'm going to be talking about it as if it is to do with another person. So if your person is married or with someone else, okay, but also third parties can be equally alcohol drugs, any kind of influences, mums, dads, influences on your people, okay? So I'm going to be talking about it in terms of people, but if it, if you want to be looking at it in terms of a um, situation that is happening or, um, you know, like I said, alcohol, drugs, etc., you can do it that way. So I've got two decks for you to choose from. Like I said, I'm so sorry it's still dark. It's so sunny outside in England as well, but the light is um, probably shining right on your faces which I love in England, but it never happens really, <laughs> but it's a bit bright behind you. Okay, so deck number one and deck number two. No sugar-coated decks today, okay? Number one, number two, pick the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you're thinking about your deck and you're choosing your deck, I want you to feel your emotions for your person and feel those emotions really coming in from your heart centre, okay, and push into the deck you are drawn to. Now, if you want to just quickly, and I mean quickly, focus on the person that they are with, you can do that as well. So focus on that energy. Try to do it with a peace vibe if you can, with not a jealous one, and push that energy to the deck that you were drawn to as well, because we're just going to get their people's energy, uh, the people they are with involved in the decks as well. Number one, number two, okay? So let's do this deck number one. So let's go. Can we get into everyone's watching for deck number one's energy? So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay. Think about your person. Get into their person's energy. And let's make a direct link to the third party influence on deck number one. Now, you might notice I always call the other person the third party. Uh, the reason why is because in a more spiritual connection, I would not see you guys as the third party influence. I would see the person that they are with as the third party influence because of the karmic energy that is between the two of them. Okay? So any kind of judgmental comments that people write beneath will be deleted because this is a place of love and light, all right? And we don't deal with judgmental people. They just really get my goat up. So we just, we just delete the comments. So if you're going to write a comment, Write it, you know, don't be, don't be a bitch, basically. Okay, so can you tell me what is happening with the people watching and their person? So this is you guys. What's the current energy between the people watching and their person? Two, three, four, five, okay. There's a lot of love between the two of you. Now, as these kind of cards are jumping out, and I'm going to come back to them, I'm going to pull the other cards in a second. But as these cards are jumping out, I'm getting um, the cards of this kind of connection, whether it's the person that you are with, your person, or the person that they are with, the third party. I'm hearing it must have been love, but it's over now, okay? Now, a lot of this is going to be relating to the person that they are currently with. Right, so there were love feelings, there were love emotions, but they seem to have faded away now. Now, some of you guys, that in that song coming up is going to be more um, because you're taking a step back from the situation because you've had enough of it, but largely the majority of you is more to do with the person that they are with. And what's happening with the person that they, uh, they are with? What's the their person and the third party energy? Two, three. Yeah, that song is definitely more related to this part of the reading, more related to the people that they are currently with. So 
is there much kind of happening with the people that they are with? No, there isn't. It's it's a very, very strained relationship between them and the person that they are with, this kind of third party influence. It's difficult times and it's it's spirit saying it's kind of falling on difficult times. It's not just in relationship, but there also seems to be some issues with stability and security and spirit are really drawing my attention to money coming up as well. So there seems to be some monetary issues for a lot of the people, your people. Now, I don't know if they're going to have told you that because it's more something that they would keep a little bit private. It makes them feel a little bit weak, a little bit vulnerable. And it's not absolutely everyone that is watching, but spirit are really bringing that to my attention. So what's happening in the relationship they are with, uh, that they are currently in, is the relationship is getting strained. And they're just showing me some glue. You know, when you get sticky glue and you kind of pull it apart like that and it gets all sticky. Um, that energy kind of coming up over there. So when you're pulling that energy away from one another, it's getting very, very strained between the two of them. There's not talk of endings happening, okay? So they are kind of all, both of them are putting up with this situation at this moment in time, but it's not all happy and everything great. It is a very difficult, strained connection between the two of them. There also looks to be quite a bit of jealousy going on and some social media watching happening as well. So maybe the person that they are with um, is watching what they're up to, watching social media, and you might find that reflected sometimes in your person's actions towards you. You might find that they go quiet or don't text you for quite some time or um, you feel that they're pulling away for you, from you. Reason for that is because there is this kind of jealousy and I want to say this woman's instinct. And we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. But spirit are really kind of drawing me to a woman's instinct when something doesn't quite feel right. So the person that they are with um, doesn't really... <laughs> They have this feeling that something is going on, but they can't seem to put their finger on it. They can't seem to say, okay, this is specifically what is happening. They can't do that. They're struggling to do that at this point in time. So what they are doing is watching what they're up to and keeping tabs on your person. It's not a healthy relationship. It's really not. And there is this kind of need for the truth to come out as well. Truth really kind of being discussed in this connection. The person that they are with, the third party, is talking to your person and saying to them, oh, you know, um, what's going on? Are you cheating? Are you seeing someone else? What's really happening in this connection? Because I feel that you're really withdrawn from me. And your person is quite good at masking it and saying, oh, no, 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 don't be so stupid. Everything's fine here. We're, we're not. Nothing bad is going on. Um, but the, the, uh, the third party does have this kind of instinct that something isn't quite right with the connection, okay? And so it's like they're almost biding their time, Spirit is saying, watching what your person is up to, keeping tabs on them, uh, almost making notes on it. You can see on here, uh, the, the little dude on top of the dragon making notes, making notes on the connection and seeing what they are up to, trying to keep tabs on them so that they can say, all right, you know what? This happened on this day, this happened on this day. Something's definitely not right. Now, the person, uh, you know, the third party is talking to their friends about the situation as well. And so it's not just them that is watching your person on social media. There also seems to be an influence of friends as well. Now, from your person's perspective, it looks as if that they are speaking to specifically one friend. A few of you, they are talking to one friend that does specifically know about you. This friend... <laughs> I don't want to say it's particularly a good influence, but they are being a support mechanism for your person because your person is struggling with this connection with the person that he is with um, or they are with and the connection with you because they have this very, very strong love for you. So with the person that they are with, with the third party influence, there isn't much movement going on with them, okay? And I know that's going to be really hard to hear because you'd love me to say, oh, you know what, they're going to leave, everything's great, everything's perfect. But at the moment, it's really what's happening is they're trying to see things from kind of different perspectives. They are thinking things through and thinking, well, is there a way that I can step away from this? What happens with these money issues that I'm happen happening? What's happening with family? Where's it going to go? What do I want from the situation? And it's almost as if they're kind of biding their time on it. So they're not making choices at this moment in time to leave, but they are biding their time. They do feel that this connection that they are currently involved in isn't going to last. It's not going to go the distance. So they're just waiting it out, waiting to see what happens. And like I said, trying to see it from different perspectives, perspectives, 
perspectives. Trying to see it from different perspectives, seeing it from one direction, the other direction. They do try to see it from your point of view as well, but they're not so good at that. They're not so good at that. And it's almost as if they're kind of stuck in the dark and looking for the light. They're looking for someone to come to them and give them answers. And it would be really, you know, your person actually would quite like it if the third party they are with um, was the one that ended up with them. Okay, they don't want to be in this connection, but they really are holding far in it. So you've got in the connection, what's happening is you've got the person they're with, the third party keeping tabs on them, watching them, making notes on what is going on. Your person biding their time, waiting to see what happens, where it's going to go. Let me just pull some cards about, is there an ending? Let's just see, is there an ending with the karmic energy, their person and the third party, any ending? So as your collective energy, there doesn't look to be a stepping away from this situation just yet. It is a process, okay? It's going to take a bit of time. Um, it's not going to be suddenly towers are hitting and we're moving away from this. This is a longer process. So no indicator of a breakup yet. That's not to say it's not going to happen, okay? As again, it's your collective energy. Um, and the reason is because of family and they're feeling stuck with it. So looking at you and your person, let's just have a quick look at that. You and your person, your connection is really good, you know. Um, what your person is doing about the connection with you and them is they're just going with the flow of it, but they do have a very, very strong love for you. And you are where the heart lies. And they are in a very, very difficult position over this because they do want to be with you. You've got these two aces over here, ace of cups, ace of wands, emotions and passion, sexual energy. You've got your two of cups over here, your true love card. You've got your fool for new beginnings. Um, they want all of this from you. And you might find over here as well that you, with this kind of page of pentacles, they come towards you making these kind of offers of, oh, let's kind of make a plan, let's do this, let's do that. And you might feel that you're going a bit backwards and forwards because of this connection over here with the third party influence. But your person does love you. You know, they are being truthful with you. They are being honest. If you ask them about the person that they're with, sometimes you might feel like you're being hit by a little bit of a brick wall because they're not openly communicating with you. Um, but they also, at the same time, they don't want to really break the magic of the connection because they do love you, they do respect you, and they do have these very strong feelings for you. You are the person that they want to be with, but they are feeling stuck in quicksand over here and don't really know how to break away from it at this moment in time. But the love that you two share is very, very real. So what's going to happen is kind of a, it's a difficult one as your collective energy because it's, um, you know, it's just going to tick along. Really, not much is going on, not much on the future is happening other than them biding their time and them being watched. Um, and you two kind of building, blossoming and growing. That's going to continue, you know, the two of you and your relationship will continue. Now, there is a likelihood with some of you guys that your person, that the karmic energy, the third party will find out about you. OK, um, there is a possibility with that with some of you guys, definitely. Um, but it's not all of you because your person's quite sneaky at covering up what's actually going on. And they are also doing that to protect you, Spirit of Zone. They're doing that to protect your heart and your emotions because they don't want to put you in a difficult situation where um, the karmic finds out about you. Because that's that, that's they, they don't want you to have to go through that for what they have done. You know, so they've kind of got a little bit of guilt on that as well. On one sense of things, like they want her to, they want the, the karmic to find out so that the, um, everything could kind of come out in the open, but at the same time, they're trying to protect you. It's not really them. They don't really care about themselves. They care about the family. They care about the stability and security. Um, and that's why they're stuck, you know, and monetary issues are largely coming into that. But your person does love you. Okay, now as always, this is your collective energy, so it pulls out the strongest energy between you all. And there might be times, there might be in well, there will be different individual circumstances within that collective energy where your person will leave. It's just going to take some time. Okay, so if you need me and you want to know more, just drop me a uh, email at mystic mr love tarot at gmail.com and we can look at your individual circumstances all the details are on the website if you want to know more and that is mystic love tarot.com okay guys and that is deck number one have a blessed week uh, stay safe all of you and i will speak to you all soon goddess blessings
Okay guys, deck number two. I'm sorry the lighting is a bit dodgy in here at this moment in time. I don't know, I know some of you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on. Uh, but I've had really bad dizziness for a month now and I am seeing a ear specialist uh, next week but I just, um, I'm, I'm struggling to put the studio lights on when I put them on. It just makes me go a little bit, woo. So um, we're in the dark today. So what we're doing is a third party reading. So we're looking at you and your person and the person that they are with. Um, so what I need to do is just think about your person for me as I get into your people's energy. Lovely. And let's have a moment to just think about the person that they are with. Try and think about it with love and light energy. Fabulous. Thank you so much. You can stop that now. And we are just going to pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if you want a private reading um, or private email questions, uh, just drop me an email. I do email reading for £8.50. I used to do it in dollars, but I, um, I only charge in English now because the conversion rates were driving me mad. It was up and down and changing all the time. I didn't want to keep changing things. Uh, but I also do video readings as well. So all the details are on the website. Okay, so just going to look at you and your person to begin with. So what's the current energy of their person and those watching? And then we're going to do the juicy nitty gritty of the person they are with. What's the energy of the people watching and their person? One. Two. So what's coming out first and foremost as these cards are kind of jumping um, is I'm hearing it was a Dua Lipa one and it's the so I cut you off. I don't need your love. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it relates to you and your person. It could be to do with the person that they are with. But there does seem to be a bit of a conflicting energy with you and your person. There seems to be a bit of a what's going on, what's happening. And you guys are really standing there thinking, is it time to just step away from this energy so that song um i think it was i don't give a fuck excuse my language but it's the name of the song i d g a f i'm sure that's what that song was called um but i can just hear that one specific lyric rather than the whole song i can just hear that one specific lyric saying so i cut you off so you guys at the moment are feeling a little bit unsure and spirit are also saying territorial okay so you're feeling a little bit territorial about your person and you're also feeling a little bit unsure about where it's going and what's happening so we've got this massive sense of confusion going on with you guys okay that's first and foremost um i am actually going to read your cards first before i pull the cards on the person that they are with um because it's really kind of spirit really strongly in my energy over it you guys are really unsure about what is happening over here and you you're feeling in a way that you you don't want to your spirit saying don't suffer fools gladly you know you, you're wondering what to do over the situation and this is why that song is coming up at the at the forefront you're kind of at the end of your tether and you're thinking well what do i do now what pathway are we going down and you still have hope you know you still have hope that this is going to work out with you guys but you are feeling at the moment kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because you have so much love for them um, but at the same time, you're feeling really trapped and unsure on what to do. And it looks like there's been a few conflicting energies happening around you guys, perhaps a few arguments, perhaps you guys saying your peace, coming out with the spirit saying we're vomit. You know, you built it up and built it up and built it up. And it's kind of almost like this explosion might be happening with you guys, some of you specifically. And there's this conflicting energy between you both. There is this conflicting energy. You're looking to the past and things that have happened in the past. You've got a little bit of sense of distrust with them. Are they being honest with me? Have they lied to me? Uh, but because the love is so strong between you both, um, there is that kind of struggle happening. And your person isn't openly communicating with you how they're really feeling. You know, so every time that you're feeling that like you're making three steps forward with the situation, you also feel like you're doing four steps backward because they're not saying to you, oh, well, I love you. I want to be with you. You're my world. And yeah, this is another reason why you're feeling stuck on the connection. Let me just ask what their feelings are for you, because they, they mask their feelings so well and say, you know, oh, well, maybe they're saying to you, I'm not leaving. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I don't really know how to handle it. Um. And it's all a load of bollocks, right? It's all a load of bollocks. What they're doing is they're kind of just self-preserving um, because they don't really know what to do about the situation. So perhaps they're saying to things to you that is a little bit underhanded, what you might see as underhanded. And again, that puts you in a difficult position. 
Now, if you look at their emotions for you and how they really feel about you, you have got this very, very strong love with you guys. And that is why you they, they can sometimes be a little bit snarly or bitter. So you've got your Knight of Cups and your Empress over here. Um, their love for you, movement of love and their heart-centered energy, okay? And that with the Empress over here, this is you and your strong power but we also have the three of swords as well so they are feeling quite sad about the situation because at the moment they don't know how to get out of the situation that they are currently involved in no matter how much they love you and that's what's making you guys feeling stuck and feeling trapped okay um let's just have a look at the future of you guys what's the future okay Depends on you guys on how, how long you can bide your time with it, really. You have got this kind of working out everything, things kind of shifting and moving in your favour. And you have got a celebration of you two kind of coming together and being together. But it has to kind of start with an eruption, which is the tower. OK, so this is probably why this Dua Lipa song is coming up as well. It's like it's going to be, you guys have got to reach the end of your tether with it, to step away from it, for them to realise what life is like without you. And when this kind of tower hits, this is when they'll start working out that they want to make this work with you and the connection that the two of you share. And that is your celebration, okay? So that's where the energy is going with you guys. At the moment, you've got this fed up feeling. Your person isn't being very helpful with it. But it looks like a situation is going to happen, and I'm going to go into this in a second with their cards, um, that is going to cause this eruption uh specifically at the moment between you guys that you're going to get fed up you're going to say i'm going to cut you off and through that your person's going to be like oh my god don't go don't go and pulling after you and chasing after you so let's keep that at the back of our mind and let's have a look at what's happening with the person that they are with what's the third party karmic energy so anytime we refer to a person as a third party that is the person that they are with okay What's happening with their people and the karmic third party? Yeah, so we've got a very much sense of being stuck. And I'm just um, hearing with that, I'm stuck in the middle with you. Just that specific lyric. I don't know the whole song, but I'm hearing stuck in the middle with you. And I'm also hearing at the same time, I'm sticking with you because I'm made out of glue. So we've got straight and foremost that this, this connection that they are currently involved in is very sticky. Spirit is saying with this, keep your ear to the ground really clearly. They're saying keep your ear to the ground because there's a lot of stuff happening here that you aren't fully aware of. Um, do listen to what not what just your person says, but what they don't say, okay? I wouldn't add two and two specifically and make 50. I wouldn't do that, but they are saying, do be careful, like, do watch out for what isn't being said. So it's kind of like reading between the lines a little bit. If they're saying something to you and you're a bit like, well, that sounds a bit strange, that sounds a little bit weird, there's more to it. There's much more to it, okay? And it's to do with the person that they are with. All right, so not about you and them, but to do with the person that they are with. They aren't happy in the connection. It's like they know a pathway forward. They can see a pathway forward in, in this ending between the two of them, but they're very stuck and they're very trapped and they're kind of blocking it. There's nothing more magnificent, isn't there, than a person sitting in their own jail holding their own key. And that is essentially what is happening here. Your person is sitting in their own prison cell with the key to get out, but they're a little bit frightened of making that movement. And we have this kind of motion over here with the bike coming up as well. They've got the tools to get on the bike, and I don't know if you can see because the lighting, the road is behind. They've got everything they need. They get to get on the bike and travel down to the next pathway. But they're, st they're stagnating that energy. Reasons why they're stagnating the energy. Why aren't they moving this forward? Because they don't, they're worrying a little bit about what people will think. Really. Uh, it looks like family kids maybe if they've got children um they are worrying how people would perceive the situation because they know that they're being a bit you know morally that now they want to take the moral high ground right they've been a little bit morally um not quite right that's, that's kind of how they're thinking and they're worrying about what people would think of the situation if it came out about you guys uh they're worrying about it now 
when it comes to kind of the, the situation coming out. So they, they know that they don't want to be in the relationship that they're in. They know that there is a pathway forward, but they are sticking, feeling stuck, and it's because they're worrying about what people will think over it. And that's why it's kind of interesting that when we're looking at your cards, for them to kind of get out of the stagnant energy, something has to happen between you guys. That tower has to hit for them to realize that actually, you know what, I do want to step away from this connection that I'm in. And that is going to be what's going to break this stagnant energy. That's going to be what breaks this. I'm trapped, I'm stuck, I'm sticking with you because I'm made out of glue, okay? Your person is trying to be like the family man coming up, spirit said family man, again, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but that's the words that they are specifically saying. Your person is trying to be the family man, trying to ple a ple please and appease, they are saying, everyone. And they're holding the cup, they're holding the potion that does that, you know? And this is, again, why they're worried about what family and friends would potentially think over the situation with you guys. Now, with them and the person that they are with, is there a sign of a breakup? Again, still holding on to it at the moment. Um, but with you guys and your tower hitting, once that tower hits, this is when they're really going to have to make a choice over this connection. Most likely outcome at the moment is a lot of them will decide to pack it in. A lot of them will decide to pack it in. It's not going to be easy. Okay, it's not going to be easy, but they will start making moves towards um, ending this connection and really bringing the connection with you and them forward. Um, they do love you. They do want to be with you. They are just on this little bit of self-defense over it all at the moment because they're scared of making these moves to end this connection that they are currently involved in. But by kind of you stepping away and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm done with this unless you make a choice on it or however those situations naturally unfurl with you guys when that happens this is when they're going to start making these stronger moves towards you and making those stronger moves towards you means equally that they have to make a choice about where they're currently at and what's going to happen with them with the person that they are currently with they're very they're very trapped they're very very trapped very stuck but they are like i said it's more them being stuck over it is there anything you can do over this i mean really it's kind of letting it naturally happen you know this these towers unfortunately these towers have got to hit whether the big t towers something massive happening between the two of you or little towers little t towers whatever specifics are going on they kind of have to happen for your person to realize that they want to be with you or they want the connection with you guys to blossom and when that blossoming comes forward they're going to really realize that you know it is time to step away from the connection that they are currently involved in so yeah there is breakups happening in deck number two the when on it um your collective energy is very very at different times of it all but spirit are saying with that in the next six months is going to be kind of shifting and movement back into your favor Go with the flow of it. See how you get on. Um, if you need me to look at your individual circumstances, just drop me an email. Email is mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Uh, website, all the details of bookings, uh, the different types of readings I offer is on uh, www.mysticlovetarot.com. And we can have a look at your individual circumstances. Okay, guys, um, all the best with it all. Let me know how you all get on. Keep strong with it. It's not easy. It's not an easy situation. Third party connections are never easy. And my heart goes out to all of you that are struggling with it all at this point in time. Uh, look after yourselves, my loves, and I will speak to you soon. Goddess blessings. Ciao.